let's start today's tour with a little bit of Copenhagen history because the apartment I'm going to show you guys in a minute is located right here on Gadeskill, which is considered New Copenhagen. Or at least back in 1647 when King Christian IV, fourth, 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 took down the eastern rampart surrounding the old part of Copenhagen. The city was growing and this street became a reality. Behind me at the end of this street is Kongs Nuto and back in 1647 that was just wilderness used as a dump site and the gallows. On the opposite side of the street you have Rosenborg Castle which was actually built as a country summer house for the king back in 1606. It's in Kong's Heo or the King's Garden which is one of the most popular gardens here in Copenhagen attracting more than 2.5 million people every year. But enough history lesson for today. Let's go check out the penthouse on Gotteskill 93D. Hi, hello, thanks for uh, coming upstairs. This is a very unique, very Scandinavian style apartment that I'm so excited to share with you guys today. But the floors are so nice throughout. So I'm gonna sit here and take off my shoes first. And I think because this is in fact a two-story apartment that we're gonna start upstairs. So this is the top floor. Not only the top floor of this apartment, but the top floor of this entire house. And this is the great room where you really get the efficiency of space, but the perfect amount of space. You got a separate seating area with great furniture, like these two side by side lounge chairs by Hans Wiener designed in 1949 and then this tan leather couch. I love the color. I just love how it speaks to the wooden trim in the kitchen and behind it is this curtain which is made not only to keep out nosy neighboring eyes or the sun if needed but it actually also function as a little room divider. Because it actually comes all the way over here. So you can just block off the dining area from the little seating area. Such a great idea in an open space like this. On this entire wall you have the kitchen with tons and tons of storage space which is such a good idea in an open space like this where you want to hide away as much as possible because if you don't it becomes very messy very quickly. Even the oven is hidden, well not entirely hidden but it's white so you hardly see it and then I love these lights, these wall lights, they're by menu and I love the simplicity of its design. Just looks like they're floating on the wall. 
And then over here, you have a completely different vantage point and the dining area. And I just love how this dining space is separated from the living room space by this staircase. It is so light and bright up here, thanks to this, probably my favorite part of this apartment, the window wall, which is technically not just a wall, but part of the ceiling too. It leads out to the very private balcony. Through these double doors, you have access to your very own private balcony. It's super quiet out here, even though the pulsating city is just behind the building over there. You can actually see the top of the castle if you stand on your toes. How cool is that? That's definitely something you don't see everywhere here in Copenhagen. And with the doors fully open, you have the perfect balance between inside, outside living right in the middle of Copenhagen. I mean, that's, that's pretty damn unique. Who doesn't want that? Okay, let's, let's go check out the rest of the apartment. Back here on the lower floor, you have two bedrooms, an office and a bathroom. So remember that this entire space is just 121 square meters big, but it just feels so much bigger, probably because every inch is so cleverly used, like right here in the office corner where they have put in a bifolding set of doors. Not only does that allow a lot more light into the entryway, but it also makes the illusion of a way bigger space and having an entire full wall right here. I really love the simplicity in here, especially these wooden slats on the window still, which covers the heater behind here. And there's also a little hidden storage right here the perfect spot to just sit and work or just think about life think about you guys on YouTube make sure to like make sure to subscribe please the algorithm really likes it and I appreciate it too maybe even send it to someone who you know likes real estate or just appreciate Scandinavian interior. Okay, so behind the staircase you have the bathroom. It's all terrazzo tile. All terrazzo. All terrazzo. I know I just said that three times, but that's important for you guys to remember. There's also a great marble sink on top of a floating oak vanity. And let's end this tour by checking out the bedrooms. In here you have the master bedroom with storage on one side and the double bed on the other. Also look at the two cute marble lights on either side of the bed. The other bedroom now functions as a kids room. How adorable is this building bunk bed? I'm sure the kids here loves it. <laughs> and that's it. I just love this apartment. It's on the market, asking 9.5 million Danish krona with listing agent Adam Snack. And I have left the link in the description down below. This is an incredible apartment, an incredible house. 
you get 121 square meters on two floors with three rooms and a bathroom downstairs and this one huge room upstairs, including your very own private balcony. This is unique. This is very unique. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked the tour just as much as I loved making it. Remember to like and remember to subscribe. Please, please, please. Okay, see you next time. Bye.